Welcome back to Off the Record, where we talk about whatever, whatever we want. want. Hey, we got Ranime back. Hey. What's going on, dude? Chilling, bro. What's that band-aid all about? Is that a, a, a statement piece? So, like, I just learned how to use a circular saw. And yeah, I didn't learn how to not get hit by the shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, we cut it off. Plexiglass. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. So yeah, I might still have some in my skin. Do you want to show use, the wound? Do you use Dang, goggles? Like Iron Man. No, I don't. You don't? I will now, but yeah, I didn't then. What are you making? Uh, I made a ball pit where the sides are see-through. So if you were taking a photo, you can like be under the balls. Hey, oh, uh, that's a lot of balls. Like, like the sound studio. of that? For your photo yeah, studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't the Billy studio, this is the... Boxy, the, the second boxy one. Boxy yeah. studio. Yeah. Did you buy ball, ball pit balls and everything? Yeah, they Where cost a them? ton. Really? You, those, yeah. you buy them from like a freaking he guy does. who buys them from China, resells them here in like Arizona, who has specials and goes, this month I'm selling all shades of blue for like 500 bucks. <laughs> what <laughs> color did you get? Uh, pink and black. Why didn't you yeah. get blue? Why didn't you get the deal? <laughs> <laughs> the pink and black deal was even better. <laughs> black pink. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Nice. Just to catch everyone up, Ryan has two studios now, two photo studios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, all one kinds of cool studio. themes like shredded denim walls. Like I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. Tell yeah. them about your studio. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a content studio, different sets. Uh, yeah, check the link if there is one. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. How do people even know to take pictures? At your place. How do they know to take pictures? Like, where do you put it up? Like on. Oh, it's on Peer Space. Oh, that's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a Peer Space studio. Yeah. Is that a good business? It's like, good. Yeah. Come here, take pictures. Yeah, it's easy. Is there rules like no blowjobs and porn? Uh. Anal's fine. Anal's fine. Blowjobs are okay. Okay, cool. Porn is not. Okay. okay. <laughs> so it happens. It's like yeah. the simulated like Ronald McDonald. You know how the girls always blow Ronald McDonald. Yeah, on, yeah. On oh yeah, on the on the bench. sitting on the bench. Yeah, yeah they're always doing this shit. Yeah, that's man. cool. Okay. Yeah. How did you get into this? Uh, because I used to produce like different videos for other people, and I'd rent peer spaces, and then I would go, "Damn, this shit sucks. It should have this and that." Uh, and then rather than I wish there was shit, a place, just make one. You know, wow. rather than complain about them. So What's yeah. What's your favorite room in there? That's cool. That's or your favorite um, business backdrop. I th I like 70s shit. I mean, if you guys look at the place, it's it's a collection of most of my old shit that I like to collect, like just junk. Oh, that's dope. So yeah. you just have like props and art direction <laughs> laying around? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but like Ryan's junk is like really cool. It's not like our junk. I yeah. see. My yeah. junk sucks, yeah. dude. That's you true. can't make a room out of my junk. This, yeah. I don't have junk. This is the kind of shit that my mom would be like, see, I'm a hoarder, but I made a business out of it. <laughs> dude, yeah, it is. It's actually a good business for hoarders. Yeah, Ryan's like the best type of mom out there. <laughs> Seriously. I'll be a great mom eventually. <laughs> I can't wait. Huh? What's your least favorite backdrop at this place? The, I mean, it's a standard thing that most studios have, like the giant white infinity wall. That's, That's my boring. least favorite because it costs the most to like. Really? You gotta paint it all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah, we had one. Yeah. Feet get on there and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It gets dirty all the time. Like, and then plus, like, dude, one time, I mean, this is the worst incident I've ever had, but a dude at a video shoot forced himself to vomit all over the wall. Why? Why? Because. Fucking rock and roll. Cause rock and roll. Yeah. What a piece of shit. Yeah. Did he, did he clean it though? Yeah, but like. Oh, he cleaned it. But, it but that's not okay. But he wasn't supposed to do it. <laughs> He's like, I know I throw up, but I'm gonna clean it. Don't yeah. worry. Like, what the fuck? Oh, on Joe, I cleaned it. Mentality. He should have told you. He should have told you he was gonna throw up. On <laughs> yeah. It. And then you would've been like, know. no, don't come here. Now, I, I think, think he had point. enough decency to clean it. <laughs> Cause I, I, for me, I don't. I've thrown up plenty of times in my works of art. <laughs> Never fucking clean it. Other people do it for me. <laughs> He's the manager of the rock band. <laughs> I know. He's like, it's fine. Let him do it. Yeah, they, we could hear him talking about like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And his friend's like, yeah, you should totally do it. Here, smell my and ass. He does it, and then I go out there, and the guy's like, oh man, I'm sick. I ate a burrito. Uh, like oh, trying to have a story God. for it. And we're like, dude, the whole narrative is on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's a better video than whatever the fuck you shot. Did you guys charge extra for it? Yeah, yeah we had cool. to because it was like right when COVID started too. Oh, so we're all, we're in here like smelling these dudes' burrito fumes. Oh. Like, come on, man. How do you make himself throw up? Yeah. He was just going. Yeah. You know. But why? Yeah. Why was it for rock and roll? For that rock, rock and roll? roll? Yeah, man. When I was uh, at UCB, it was like 2007. I was interning, so we had to clean up after everything. And there was a midnight show where guys would like take shits on stage and oh, one time a dude took out a fish that he just bought at the Gelson's right next to it and he started fucking it. That's different. This I is UCB? Yeah. When was this? 2007. Um, 
Maybe I'm, 2007 Maybe is I different. missed something. <laughs> you could do that at UCB? You yeah, the, the, the midnight show. Face fuck it. He's oh, that's funny face. though, that's funny. <laughs> that's, that's that's pretty pretty took a shit on the stage. That's also funnier than you throwing it. And then you were in charge of cleaning it as well, an I intern? Shut up, fuck no. I was. I have dignity. Throwing oh. up for rock and roll is not that cool. That's okay. I've, I've always been more like a groundlings type of guy. <laughs> <laughs> Prop comedy. I'm taking a cone and uh, shouting at your neighbor. <laughs> I saw, no, groundlings is great. A street performer in New York take a shit in a mop bucket. Really? Oh. Yeah. And then I realized he was homeless. <laughs> Is that the dude, that video where he's trying to fight the guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone told me that one was staged. It, it seems very staged. But it felt so staged. real though. That's like, staged? That's staged. It's too staged, good to be dude. true, because yeah. it's such a perfect situation. Yeah. And the angle's just set up, a camera's there. Yeah, and his video. shit's all shaped nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's the no perfect shape. Nice. I don't know, man. I think I've seen too many homeless people shitting to think that oh, that's yeah. too Yeah, I've far. seen a uh, homeless guy shitting on a no parking sign in Little Tokyo. That's but pretty to cool. me, like if, even if it was staged, they did such a good job that, or this occurs so much that it seems realistic. Can you imagine staging that? Like you produced that, a guy to shit on a no parking sign. <laughs> My best work. I just feel like it's when it comes to like yeah. seeing things like feces or vomit in entertainment, I'm more of like the, I like the extravagance. I like it when somebody's like, you know, in, in a script, they're supposed to like throw up, but then it's just like Quentin Tarantino blood style where it's like, Blah, and it's like oh, just it's gallons. Like the more extreme and yeah. it's like intense. If it's like really realistic, it's just like there's some sort of art to it. <laughs> I see. Yeah. You turn up the volume on it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Or like yeah. in scary movie or whatever, when the dude like oh, busts a nut and yeah, then it's just yeah. like the cum just like <laughs> clouded. Yeah, that was a great like a fountain. I'm like that kind of stuff. I'm like that's hilarious. Shapes great. Our, shapes our modern humor for sure. Yeah, exactly. A lot of cum too. A lot of cum. <laughs> Old samurai <laughs> movies when somebody gets beheaded and there's just blood that's just like you yeah. almost see the pipe still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, even Spielberg was like, that's a lot of fucking cum. <laughs> and it's impressive. I like motivated bo bodily fluids. Like motivated. Like, like this rock band. I don't know what the narrative is, but then all of a sudden this guy needs to vomit, and I'm like, it seems like this this shock kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Just for the sake of it, rather than like someone smelled something so bad that they had to puke. Yeah. Like, like what's yeah. the purpose? Well, of see, it? their yeah. objective was specifically to get kicked out. And I oh. found that out later, is they were trying to start as much shit as possible to get kicked out and film the the whole like kicking out. So it's a prank like, so We're badass. Like yeah, that, exactly, dude. exactly. Yeah. I would turn the tables on them and be like, kicking out as you think throw up on a stove. <laughs> I'm gonna tie you to a chair and throw up on you. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's They're like, wait, wait, that's too far. And it's like, nah, bitch, this is rock and roll. Or you yeah. tie them up and shit in their lap. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stand like, on their knees and then you yeah. just squat right there. <laughs> and they're like, that's yeah, yeah. cool, uh, that's assault, so. <laughs> <laughs> You just scoop up their their vomit and then you just like <laughs> yeah. pour it on them. That's rock and roll. So they rigged yeah. uh, like those hidden cameras to see your guys' yeah. reaction. Yeah. And BTS guy, and I could mm. see when I came down to talk to the dude that the BTS guy was like secretly like filming, and I'm like, I'm not gonna give you that shit, because they Dick wanted Zeus. me to call the cops and stuff, you know. <laughs> How did they do it? They're like, uh, yeah, bro, don't call the cops. Call <laughs> don't, don't do it, man. Yeah, he just hits 9-1 on my phone and gives it back. <laughs> cops call, dude. They're trying to manufacture how badass they are. Yeah, exactly. So that makes you want to kick their ass. Exactly, yeah. Man. That's dude. so badass of them. I've seen the final video and everything. Yeah. It's like, yeah. do, you do you guys look, do you guys you look find. like a fucking hall like, monitor? He didn't, he didn't put me in it, but like, it is, I know what they were trying to do. And I was just like, come on. Yeah, it looks like a ripoff of like a Tyler, the creator, like early video. And I'm like, come uh. on. It's not even creative. It's like Look at how bad their business are. now. No, that was like I one was like, in every oh one in every one hundred bookings ends up <laughs> as bad as that. Talk about them. The more I want to look them up and be a fan. Yeah, I want to find this thing. <laughs> I'll tell you it's where working. to find it. <laughs> Who rents their studios the most? More photo shoots or like oh. music videos? Or? Um, it seems like it's mostly just girls doing real quick shoots for their socials. I like oh. his business. I like his business a lot. And sad boyfriends taking pictures. For and them? sad boyfriends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're sulking the whole time That's taking pictures. Yeah. Would you say it's more like the OnlyFans department or more like the artsy fartsy department? I uh, it's I think it's Only split down fans. the middle, but <laughs> I found a really interesting thing about OnlyFans that blew my mind. So there was a guy who came in and he's an OnlyFans photographer. He came in, he rotated like 10 girls did a bunch of shoots with them and then he told me he goes, "I own all the pages." 
but Whoa. they all they do is come in and they just they get told what to wear, how to pose, then they leave. It's like 30 minutes tops each girl. The pages are all owned by this one dude, he and he be. even chats with everybody oh, as if fuck. it's them. I and knew he that goes, was a scam. Today's video is brought to you by Amazon, Amazon Music. Music. All right, check this out, guys. They have more than just podcasts. They have millions and millions of streamable music on Amazon Music. You know why I know this? Is because I personally use when I when, when I have an Alexa around. Doesn't it feel like you have a personal maid or something like that? A personal jukebox DJ person and a friend. Yeah. You're like Alexa, play Hawaiian music. Ah, uh, I love that. And I don't have to push a button or anything like that. It does yeah. it for me. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's like I'm just lifting weights, swimming in the pool. Yeah. And I feel like I'm back on Oahu, baby. Yeah, and I like that you can give a mood too. Sometimes she's like, give me some hype music. And you can see, is that what I was looking for? Or can you chill me out music? And you can go, oh, is that what I was looking for? <laughs> they have a pretty extensive playlist they do. though. All right, so for our listeners, you can get this for free. Just go to amazon.com slash off the record and you don't need a credit card, no subscription required, and you get to listen to thousands of music stations and over 10 million podcast episodes just like this one. Go to amazon.com slash off the record to get your free music streaming. That guy's ah, fucking dude. genius. He's a genius. He's a pimp. Oh, yeah, he's a pimp, basically. And wow. he goes like, yeah, I got 12 pages. I make I make this much money like per thing. The girls get a cut. The girls are getting less than he is. They get the day rate. Because oh. all I gotta do is just show up. And they're not famous. They don't even have a lot of followers. And he goes, you don't need a lot of followers. You just need like crazy, like five crazy dudes, each girl. And they'll just shower them with like gifts and stuff because he interacts and does engagement. So these guys oh, suck your dick. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and he just fucking loves it. Yeah. Holy Yeah, isn't that crazy? And he, and he said, he said model. there's dozens more guys like him. Like, holy shit. So you're talking about, you're talking, you're saying the only fans chick I'm talking to right now is actually a dude? <laughs> Could be. Hopefully. 50 50 <laughs> chance. I feel so violated. Isn't that? I had a feeling that they were typing like a dude. Yep. Hitting the keys all hard. Way too many winky faces. I don't buy it anymore. <laughs> I knew she didn't like me. Genius yeah, plan, dude. though. That is pretty yeah. genius, though. Uh, or isn't that just like a regular plan? Like, since, like, that's how, always been happening? Yeah, but like I only, I guess yeah, only I guess fans. The, the app is the, the new variable. Ever. Yeah, but right. supposed to be only fans is like this entrepreneurial female empowerment. Finally, like we own our bodies again. But no, not really. <laughs> yeah. you know? There's still dudes behind there's still, it. There's yeah, still there's some still dudes a, behind it, man. There's still a dude hey, behind that, that, that shit. That gives you some hope, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Like, we were afraid of this. Yeah. We can take this back only fans. Yeah. 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 It could be ours. It could be our platform, <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah, we were all afraid of this emerging platform. Like, imagine a world without strippers. That's what was about to happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They were all going to go to OnlyFans. And strip club's gonna be empty. Scary. Yeah. Strip oh, clubs wow. will never be empty. That's we so will always crazy. Be there. <laughs> That's true. Daytime strip clubs maybe will, will never be. Empty. Have you guys done a daytime strip Absolutely. club? Absolutely. I, I mean, no. When we were filming Danger Boys, when we were walking out of there, the daytime strippers were coming in. Was that was like 11 in the morning. Yeah, dude. That's when That's the wings are good, though. Wait, what's the difference yeah. with the daytime strippers? They're like the ones in training or the ones that aren't the best. How do I? How do we put the? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> in training is going. <laughs> in training? Looking? Yeah. So there's someone stripping next to them, They're telling the them how to yeah. do it? Yeah. A little more hips, a little more Like hips. a Starbucks trainee? Yeah. <laughs> They're the ones with like one leg, <laughs> or like, you know, the... I think one of the chicks that came in was telling the bouncer she's glad, like, she doesn't have to dance pregnant anymore or something. Yeah, it's not exactly <laughs> the top brass. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Dancing pregnant must be rough, dude. I don't know, dude. Um, there's a lot of... Never mind, I'm not even gonna go there. No, say it, say it, what are you gonna say? Pregnancy exercise? Say it extra loud. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he just the other day said that pregnant girls are hot, right? You said you pregnant? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think this all guy. pregnant women are beautiful. No matter what. See, that's not what he said. That's not what he said? What did he say? Did he say something like... He said Cardi B is so fucking hot when she's pregnant. Way hotter. <laughs> yeah, for a pregnant shit. He qualified it. Oh, so Especially a hot girl when she's pregnant. Pregnant is hotter. For, is him, for, is for Bart, yeah, because Bart loves women the way they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. In all sizes. Yep. He remembers verbatim. Yeah, he did. Yeah, especially when they're pregnant. Yes, <laughs> he's changing the words wrong a little bit, but yes. Especially. <laughs> Bart's like, hey, I don't know about that one, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay with it. Did I'm you okay with it. Watch pregnant porn. 
No, never. See, even Ryan knows it's a genre. You like pregnant girls, but you don't watch it's, pregnant it's, porn. It's, it's a sacred thing. You, you don't want to. You don't want to. Oh, okay. So you just watch birthing videos. No, no, no. You don't want to. I admire. <laughs> <the> <laughs> I admire <laughs> from afar on the streets. I go, oh wow, what a beautiful scene. Yeah. On the streets? Yeah. What street is all these pregnant women? Outside of Cedar Sinai, you know, you just. <laughs> <laughs> you just standing outside. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Hello, hello. Acting hello. like you're checking yeah. people in. <laughs> you know, just, just reading a newspaper like a creep. Just outside of outside of OBGY. A newspaper just makes it so obvious. You're just <laughs> With holes in the middle. Nobody reads newspapers. <laughs> yeah. Problem. Yo, I found a newspaper at the airport, man. It was the New York Post. I was so shocked. And it still had the old fucking greasy ass like letters on it that smears. And I was like, dude, I want to buy this just so I could eat seafood on it. <laughs> Wait, there's no newspapers wow. anymore? Yeah. Where do you find them? Yeah, have you yeah, seen I them? I haven't been looking. Sometimes so. they end up sure. on my doorstep. Pasadena Star News, they just keep giving uh, up. Well, Pasadena, I feel like, would still do newspapers. Yeah, but I'm like, I do I have to pay for this? Like, I didn't sign up for this. It's a part of like the city fee that you like secretly pay for yeah, already. Don't worry about it. HOA for the whole city of Pasadena. <laughs> You've been paying for it. You've been paying for like the fucking the gardener. I see those coupon papers, but I don't see newspapers anymore. Coupon papers aren't newspapers. Dude, I was just in Vegas and they didn't. Nobody was doing the. Oh no, they don't do oh, with the hot girls. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh, really? really? I didn't see do. it. Yeah, they still do them. You just gotta oh, catch them at the right God. time. He was just there just two days ago. I was just there. Though. They never look like the girls in the, the, the card. No, they wear the neon shirts. Yeah. They don't? Called one of those? Are those strip clubs yeah. or what is it? For sure. What, who showed it's up? It's a lot of things. Uh, uh, it was just a really old lady. Yeah, they come up to your door and Wait, they, it's, a, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a private stripper. Yeah, it's oh. like the same thing. It's like the same girl, just like that was her photo like 15 years ago. Oh, you actually called the number? Yeah. And well, the girl's busted? I didn't call. But your friend called? Yeah, my your friend. Your friend, yeah. friend Banthony called? <laughs> Have you ever called the topless mage line? Dude, who's calling oh, that? But I called I, that. I see the <laughs> really? Were they hot? I see I, the No, man. it was a, <laughs> it's because, this is, a fu this is a fucking fucked up story, but like, I was managing an Airbnb and we needed a maid for this particular day. All the maids were taken. Oh shit. So I had to call the fucking, you just had to do it. Yeah. She showed up, she didn't have any cleaning products. And I was like, <laughs> we just had a party and I was like, Yo, we need to clean this whole house. And she goes, You want me to clean? She doesn't fucking clean. At all. The topless maids don't clean. I'm shocked. They don't clean. And then she goes, Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean, I guess. Give me the product. So I got her the shit, gloves and all. She, she starts like cleaning and she goes, she takes her shirt off and she's like, Alright, uh, so if anybody else walks through and sees me, that's another 50 bucks. And then what? um I was like, I don't wanna have to even see you. But then like the uh, was she hot at least? The owner of the house, no, she wasn't. You, you didn't go like, it. just keep your shirt back yeah, on, you I'll yeah, pay you yeah, extra, yeah. clean! But please. the owner of the house was like, I want to make sure she doesn't steal anything, don't take your eyes off her. <laughs> so I have to fucking stand there. Well, her titties are hanging Make out. conversation with this topless maid who's telling me all about how she's really a, a registered nurse. No way! Yeah. And yeah, she's just like, while her titties are hanging she's out. she's doing a shitty job cleaning. It's like, looks worse. How much do they make to do that? I don't, she I don't costs think they make her. anything too clean. Dude. Yeah, she was super surprised that I actually wanted to really clean. And she, she was like, what the she fuck? Was she, was she, was she was like, what are you, fucking Larry David? <laughs> <laughs> what is this yeah, shit? Yeah, bro, that's a curb episode. Yeah, 100%. A curb episode. yeah, yeah. And, and she, she, co she cost almost as much as our normal maid. Dude, that's <laughs> an amazing story. Yeah. That's Sucks. That's hilarious. hilarious. Now I just want to go on the yellow pages and hire all like the weird things. You still got yeah. yellow pages? Or I don't know. Go Where do you look? Blank, whatever the blank is, hire them for the blank. Yeah. <laughs> like, what Top the fuck? Place. Woodwork. Place. MMA trainer. Like, yell at like you, birthday bro. clowns. Okay, let's see what this guy does. Just whatever. Topless. Topless. Yeah, topless. topless birthday clowns. <laughs> topless birthday clowns. So, what are they supposed to do? Just pretend to clean? Like they get a Yeah, I think that's so all they do. Thing. They're just, just, just a show. It's a just show. They're trying to make yeah. the that's what it is. Yeah, huh? yeah it's a show. Mm. You know when you watch like What's Beauty the and the show? Beast, and then you know Lumiere, and then he's got the fucking French like uh, feather duster chick, and when you're a kid, you're kind of like, I know that that's just a feather duster, but I fuck it. Oh. That's what it is. Ah. You know the chick in Clue wasn't cleaning shit, by the way. Yeah. She was very hot, but she wasn't cleaning much. Not much at all. No. Well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> if you if you don't get to come, why do people pay for that? Or maybe they do get it. <laughs> Wait, you like the edge? Don't you bring yeah. a blanket out and you go, okay, you're gonna clean now. And you put the blanket on your lap and you start jacking away underneath the blanket? Yeah. You just see a hand. <laughs> That's stealthy. 
<laughs> just newspapers holding up big ass newspapers. Now, what are supposed to do? What's the proper etiquette? Do you go, yeah. oh, it's so cold in here. Here's a blanket. Or is it a front for like a prostitution thing? It like, might be. Like, I think yeah. it, I think it really is. I think that's like the foot in the door, like getting the maid come over, and then you propose oh. additional secret codes. I'm learning so much. You do yeah. like, I would, so think. would you like two avocados and a lime? And she goes, oh yeah, two well, avocados. Like <laughs> and do you happen to do plumbing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you snake my drain, please? But this cat, she's like, she's like, oh, you want me to clean the house? He's like, yeah, no, clean the house. And she's like, you want me to clean the house? He's like, yeah, clean the fucking house. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. She's like, I'm gonna clean the house so good. And he's like, yeah. please, we can't do it. As good as, as, good as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, I don't have any products. It's called Windows. <laughs> Give her the fucking <laughs> like, Lysol. She's like, she's like, like oh, what the fuck, what the fuck is that? He goes, if you want me to put this up my ass, I'll do it, but it costs extra. <laughs> I'm like, don't I just butt off? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That's crazy. Oh my Judging God. by how pissed she was, I would assume that she was expecting the exact opposite. So that's why I'm like, oh. she's like, why the fuck do you want me to clean? I'm here to she's suck so some mad. dick. Yeah. She was so mad, yeah. But judging how topless she was, she still, you know, was doing her job. What's the hourly yes. rate? <laughs> I, it was like, I forgot what it was. I forgot what it was, but it was hundreds of bucks, like for. That's so funny that you couldn't find one clean. There was not server. one. Like I think we should get a topless made in here. This place is kind of dirty. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's fifty bucks a head, bro. God, I don't know if I want to pay that. True. Just don't look, and you'll yeah. save money. It's okay. It's not like a one eye thing. It's just like twenty-five dollars. We have a hot one. We bring out six blankets. Hey guys. <laughs> Nah, three blankets. We all share. Hey, all right. Well, save, we have Bart welcome them in, and then we all pretend like we're blind. Uh, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. And we're just poking her with a stick <laughs> under Bart's one blanket. That's your product. You need to make the snuggie that has a fake arm yeah. coming out the right side. <laughs> and and a belly, so it seems but the like the blanket a is just going like this. <laughs> yes. The Shark Tank. Let's go, dude. Yeah. But the worst thing is you're coming in your belly. That's by far the worst. Part Have you guys seen that kid on the airplane who was who had a blanket over his head and he was beating off like no, no tomorrow? Way, dude. And it's so funny because the light, the window was open, so it was created a silhouette, and you can see exactly what this. No way, is. bro! I gotta see this it's video. Like a peep show. <laughs> no, you can see how furiously he's going, man. It's like a twenty silhouette photo, but just like <laughs> video format. Yeah, no. Blanket was it seat reclined though? That's how you know. That's how you. That's how you finish. <laughs> it was so fucking. Now funny. the tray, the tray table is down. You just. <laughs> <laughs> he just does it with the turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> he just waits. <laughs> Let the turbulence yeah. control. He's like, come on, pilot, stop flying so smooth. <laughs>